When I was three years old, my dad was killed. Uh, he was a police officer. One of his fellow police officers uh, set up a robbery at the country club in Indianola and uh, called them out. And they were waiting in the bushes uh, and, and they killed him. My dad was killed on November 1st. And last November, I went to uh, my sister's house and um, I, I was heading over there. We were gonna head to his gravesite and you know, leave some flowers or, or something on his, on his gravestone. Decided to grab a ball of clay, and um, my idea was, uh, well, I'll take this ball of clay and I'll give, give a piece to my sister, give a piece to my nephews. So I gave you know, some clay to them, and I said, well, let's, let's make uh, Dad some sculptures, little sculptures uh, of things that he may have liked. You know, he really liked animals. He, so I think we just all made animals. And so we put these pieces of, of raw clay on his uh, gravestone. So, you know, these, these pieces of clay would, would be washed away into the dirt and, you know, become closer, closer to him. You always hear about shootings happening. You always hear about uh, things like that happening. But you never think that it would happen to you or it happen to your town. We were locked down on campus for like eight hours in a, in a room. And you know, we had, we had so many rumors, you know, flying this way, flying that way. And I started thinking, I really wanted to make art about this. I really wanted to make something big and something that, you know, represented how I felt about, you know, keeping peace and, you know, how, how, how kind of ridiculous violence is. So I thought, you know, how can I represent, um, how can I represent this? So I, so I thought about a, a broken arrow that's, you know, um, in the old pictograph language, broken arrow was like, you know, a sign of peace. I felt like I was doing something. You know, I felt like I was doing what I could. You know, there's, there's not much you can do. Um, but I felt, you know, it, when I showed it to Elizabeth Schmidt, uh, Ethan Schmidt's wife, I had the hold back, like, you know, this big frog in my throat. I just, he had three small children. And my dad had three small children when he was uh, killed. And, you know, I just wanted to, to say, like, you know, these, you know, life goes on. You know, uh, it's, I don't know, there's, there's always light. You know, there's always another day, um, at least for now, right? Yeah. <laughs>